All right, welcome back to LACS4 Top 64 matches. We have Zoo and a Pengu, and we're about to uh, commentate slash complain about Falco Ices. Isn't that right? I, I would never complain about this match, <laughs> but I will commentate it. Um, it's good to oh, okay, be here. Okay. I'm glad I managed to to hop on uh, at the end here because most of most of this event for me has just been DMing people on Discord and Twitter, tr telling them that, no, I did send you the West Coast time zone, actually, when I told you your block. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, I'm I'm glad to be able to hop on. Uh, I I love this matchup. Uh, do you are you not a fan of it? No, I no. <laughs> when I when I played it, no, it was infuriating. <laughs> but Falco jumps so high. Is the thing. <laughs> well, from from what I was looking up, I don't know if Bobby is a fan of this matchup. I would assume he's not based on. <laughs> Who he is as a person and a human being in the world, but he's a uh, he's not got a great record against Cool Lime and you know MDBA the land of the ICs. But right there, he right. showed that he at least has experience. Right, he killed Nana <laughs> in an instant. So actually, yeah, I mean, so far so good, right? And it's it's actually interesting. So I, when I think of Bobby Falco, I he just kind of reminds me of like West Balls, you know, and maybe in terms of personality, but also kind of in terms of play. Mm. And and Wes, like, you would think if you didn't know better, like, that he didn't like fighting Ices, but he was yeah. really good at it, and I think he liked it. So, you know, you never know. Oh, man, but that's, uh, I don't know if you saw the clip the clip earlier of Slug versus uh, versus Younger, another oh, Falco, yes. but he, yes. he, he beat Younger in, like, 45 seconds and took 15 damage in the entire yeah. time. And that sort of punish game that he just showed, off with the, showed us with the handoffs is, like, a big part of why. Yeah, I mean, Ice Climbers in the right hands without wobbling still can punish very, very hard, especially against Falco. Like, you know, even without wobbling, you have like the down air, or sorry, down throw, down air kind of link. Um, very, very difficult to SDI, so you still have some stuff. Yeah, and, and, and even if you don't want to go for down throw, down air. So typically the way that it works is that Ice Climbers um, punish game gets a lot stronger when they're closer to the edge of the stage because that's when you know that Nana is going to throw forward and then you can do the handoffs, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but when they're in the middle of the stage, especially on a, a big stage like Dreamland like this, that's when they have to go for resets with down throw, down air, or tech chases or something, which is something that a lot of uh, ice climbers have been implementing a bit more recently because their wave dash goes very far. Right, right. So we'll, we'll see if we get more of that from Slug. But so far, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what I've seen from their neutral. It feels like a lot of scrambling and, and really just Bobby trying to run down Slug. Uh, but oh, okay, missed the wave land there. Nothing really happens for it. Yeah, which yeah, is, it's, it's interesting he's trying to run him down. I actually like, he just sort of switched modes right after we said that, right? He started playing more evasively and full hopping and using the platforms more. And when he doesn't do that, when he tries to scrap like he just did there with the down tilt, that's when he's getting punished. That first stock where he really just sort of made quick work of Nana and then killed the Popo afterwards was because Bobby was sort of just full hopping around to the top platforms and uh, and playing safe. And when he tries to get in, in close range, I think he suffers a bit. Right, and I, I think that's usually what Ice Climbers losing badly looks like, right? It's like you have a bunch of like nothing happening yeah. and then like little bits of little bits of like poking and stuff here and there and then eventually one of those hits kind of leads to a big mana kill and then you finish off Popo, right? Which is exactly how stock one kind of went yeah. about. Uh, let's see if Bobby can can keep that playstyle for, for this last stock because this is going to be a really, really important one. Yeah, look, he's full hopping to top platform a lot. That's when, when yeah. things start working out for him, right? when he starts full hopping. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Love it. Yeah. And now he just has to deal with the with the Sopo. And if he keeps full hopping, I don't think he's going to have that much of a hard time. Oh, nice little Ooh. punish there. Didn't get much off of it though for Slug. Yeah, good good tech option from Bobby to go to the ledge, honestly. Like, you tech saw tech. right there Slug kind of wave dash back, anticipating the, the tech in, but, you know, not, not giving it to him. Okay. Yeah, Bobby taking his time. Okay, yep. Wow, nice tech from Slug. Very, very oh, important. That was also beautiful. The light shield by Bobby. Slug, so Slug has has caught on quite quickly, and Bobby's known for this, so it's not that hard. Uh, on the escape, full hop, and side beat a top platform, right? Bobby loves that. And so Slug tries to punish it with the, with the up air after he slides off. But Bobby yeah. just light shields instead, and so he gets a back air out. That's like a, a nice little cute adaptation there. Yeah, I mean, if, if you do that as Bobby, it's like, 
as slug, you really can't do anything after that. You just can't challenge nope. it anymore, right? You really can't, especially yeah. on Dreamland. Yeah, I guess a Sopo. Yeah, Waveland would be bad because then it's like if you're Bobby, you can just react to that, go down, and all of a sudden you are ice climbers on the top platform, and you do not want to be there. So well, and the time it takes for Icy's to get to the top platform, I think Bobby is like actionable by that point. Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah. Can do for sure. do whatever he wants. So you're you're like wave dashing while he's already down on the ground with enough tilt out. So Slug taking a second, maybe it feels like to to pick the the counter pick. And, and you'd imagine that's more of a mental thing, right? Because I feel like we know what the counter pick is in this case. It's, it's got to be FD. Well, it's always FD. I wonder because in best of five, it's like maybe sometimes you want to save that stage for for later. So I, I, I haven't yes. really thought through the like the the mental uh, of that. Like maybe you want to keep your best stage for later or something like that. But yeah, it's FD or like you know fountain, I guess, if you're saving FD for later. I'm never a big proponent of saving the big stage for later, just because. The best stage for later because mathematically it reduces your chances to use that best stage um although it means you would win if you don't get to use it but uh just like to get the most out of it but i get it for some people mentally it makes sense mm. mental games a big part of it too oh yeah i guess because if you go like fountain and you lose then you just get to play it less right yeah well you get to, to like you, you 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 didn't maximize your counter pick options and it's like how how often you get to counter pick Mm. Okay, well, missing the the handoff there. Yeah, I mean, th this this probably actually should have been slug stock, and now all of a sudden it's like no Nana. Yep. <laughs> but I do think also just for the way that they were playing, we were mentioning that full hopping was helping out Bobby a lot, and full hopping for Falco here is still fairly safe because of Icy's, you know, sort of limited ability to go in the air, but if they catch your landing, it's scary. Yeah, that that's... Definitely the case, and I think one of like the, the, the main mini games really here that Falco has to play. It's like, do you come down with an aerial? Do you come down with like a laser? And as ice climbers, like how do you punish that, right? Exactly. Okay, so it should be a back air there. Okay, you know I like that Bobby actually let Slug land first because he's not going to grab the ledge, um, at least in the previous case. But uh, yeah, cleans out that stock. Honestly, Bobby looking pretty comfortable. Um, yeah, feels like I he kind of knows like the just how Ice Climbers operates and, and oh. kind of, yeah. Yeah, speaking of knowing how Ice Climbers operated, that, that was nice. really good awareness by Bobby right there, and he gets a full Nana stock off of it because he hit just the Popo with the down air, and he knew, oh, he's going to come in and wave dash and try and down smash me because the Popo is actionable. And so he spot dodged past it, and, and it led to a full Nana stock. That was really good. Dude, Bobby... Honestly, playing amazing today. He also toed Spark. I don't know if um, a lot of people really? know that. Yeah, yeah, oh, he wow. toed Spark. It was. Uh, it did not look very close. Like Who did he Bob... lose to? Ah, uh, good question. I am not sure. But yeah, let me see if I can find out. But regardless, I mean, Bobby just looking very like poised. You know, like I mean, there are some Twitter clips of like Bobby doing silly things and like yelling and you know whatever. This does not feel like that Bobby right oh, now. Right? That entire stock against the Sopo, I think he only did one full approaching aerial the entire time, and otherwise he was drifting back or just doing laser, uh, like really, really playing safe. Good call out there by Slug, but he's he's down right now. Pretty significant. Yeah, man. I, I guess this is. I, I guess kind of the hard part of FD for Ice Climbers, which is like, okay, oh, he goes down? <laughs> that was funny. I guess Nana might not have died there, but wow. <laughs> I was not expecting it down. Dude, Bobby looks so good at this matchup. I, I would, you know, the cool lime stats are not great, but he, he played so many Ices, I guess, in his career. He has to be good at the matchup. Yeah, I mean... How, I, I don't know exactly how long ago those matches were, but like, you know, sometimes it has been some time, right? And it's like, yeah. Bobby's just also gotten a lot better as a player, so maybe he took like his overall skill, combined it with his matchup knowledge, and this is the result. Funny enough. I, I think you're you're right about that. Okay. Oh, uh, man. Yeah. It's so hard for Ices to get stuff started just as Popo too, because you get less hit stun, right? Because you don't, you're not following up with the Nana aerial afterwards. Right, right. And you don't have someone to tank your hits either. Oh, I, oh, I think Bobby meant to go for like a down air there, but uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Slug sniping that attempt out. Okay. 
great target switching. Wow. Bobby yeah. stopping oh. the Popo in his tracks and then just evading every attempt to, to hit him off stage. Yeah, that drift was perfect. And then the recovery too. Like he, those are two very ballsy, like little mix-ups that he did, but it's like, he's still alive because of it and got the Nana away. So, man. Ballsy, but like, I feel like if you know the Ice Climbers, they've still felt really Falco weighted once he put them, put himself in the right position. You know what I mean? Oh like, yeah. Oh man. Yeah, man, Slug just not really able to get too much going right now. And, and I mean, just look at the way that Bobby's playing. Oh. I can see. Oh my God. That was brutal. Whew. Okay. That was a... Uh... <laughs> that, yeah. I think there was a, a recent combo video where it kind of showcased how Mango is just like the king of quick consecutive hits. It's just like really dense fast high damage combos uh i think that belonged in there because that was like that was like abusing also slugs asdi down which it's like ice climbers in particular are really good at doing that against falco because they're yeah. used to like falco going for the downer getting the tech and i felt like bobby just totally abused that made that assumption did some drills or something um and then like a jab up smash that just like all linked that probably wouldn't have worked if slug held away right well he, he just was he felt oh my god a slug wants to get to the ground so bad right that is the safe place and he exploited the hell out of that desire that was fast um, <laughs> yeah Ooh. all right so now do you go back to fd i feel like it wasn't like I feel like you still should, you know? It's not like it was Bobby showing us something new we haven't seen. He was just outplaying Slug in a lot of ways. I don't feel like other stages are going to fix the problems there that much. Right. And But I, I think that is kind of like... Okay, yeah, back, back to FD definitely makes sense, but it's just like in the back of your mind, it's like you might question it a little bit, right? Because it's a like... A little bit. It was like, just not up. that... I got messed up. Yeah, 100%. Because, you know, Axe kind of does that from time to time, too, against, like, Spacey's, you know? Yeah. He'll sometimes prioritize, like, Fountain. Oh, my God. Uh, Fountain instead of FD, even though he has a chain grab, and that's, like, traditionally and probably in theory, like, the better stage. I feel Bobby is so aware of when Slug wants to get something off a of banana bait. Okay, there Slug is going to get something. He doesn't really get much of a conversion. But it feels like one of the really, really big determiners in this match so far has been, like, Bobby hits Nana, right? And Slug's like, aha, now he's not ready for me. And he goes in and tries to get him instead. And Bobby's totally ready for him every time and, and just oh. uh, ready to, to move out of the way of the Popo or, or go after the Nana or, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the, I mean, honestly, just has really good awareness and just feel for when Slug, like, is, like, pretending to attack versus actually attacking. Right, right? yeah, that's a great way to put it. And I feel like that is, like, the key. Like, that's, like, the number one skill you have to have against like, Ice Climbers. Like that. He gets oh, such a juicy dude. combo starter, right, on Nana with a down tilt. But he says, well, Popo can still get me, so I'm rolling the hell out of here right now. All right, this should be a kill, because Slug does not often drop these. Yep, there you go. Right, right. Two for one in handoff attempts. I think got one on the first game, I believe, but then dropped one afterwards, but just not that many attempts, in, like, grabs in general, like, handoffs aside, oh, yeah. like, not really uh, many, like, down throw down air attempts, whatever, it's just Bobby's playing, I mean, he's just spacing really well, it doesn't feel like he's particularly, like, camping, just picking his spots right every time, like you were saying. Mm -hmm. I'm honestly just so impressed, <laughs> like, I don't... That was so good. Wow. That side B looked legitimately very good to me to get out of the corner. <laughs> yeah, Bobby's new thing has become that he does this sort of drift back aerial, and then he... Ah, uh, that's really unfortunate for Slug. And then he he just rolls away immediately after, leading to Slug being like... you. Ha he has to call him out hard, or else he doesn't get anything. Okay. Back air? That yeah. should do it with no jump on the Falco. Okay. I mean, this is this is the moment, right? Like Bobby's worked so hard for this opportunity. <gasps> oh, oh, Nana, Nana the... can't di. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, and he's he's doing the same thing he did at the end of last game. He's just lasering the hell out of Popo now. Oh, dude, that wave land in to catch the roll in. Oh my god, and Bobby yeah. takes it 3-0. I mean, we were questioning his his expertise and his experience in this matchup, but man, like, 
I, I don't know if you if you were a Falco player asking me how do you play this matchup, this this would be my new go to vod. I would I would point to that and you versus Chudat. Those are the two the two vods that I look at. Thank you, thank you, Evo. Right? Yeah, that was amazing. You played that so well. <laughs>